Hello, dear friends. Today we will play Among Us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Do you think we have any chance of becoming an imposter today? I hope that it will be so, but there are few chances. There are ten people in the match, and the imposter will be one. Let's hope, but this is far from a fact. Let's decide who will play. I propose to play two matches today. Pomni and Jax will start, and in the next part we will be with Kane. But the output of the next series, of course, depends on your comments. Great idea, I oh no, we're playing for crewmate. Well, it's okay, we will develop our detective skills and try to find an imposter. Go ahead to complete tasks. I hope they won't kill us first, and we will be able to win. Let's not delay and run faster to complete tasks. There are not many of them in this match, which means we can get on the cameras faster. The tasks were quick. The first one has already been completed. I don't really like tasks in the lab. You have to wait a whole minute there. Run to electrical and complete two tasks at once. The most important thing is that other players also complete their quests as quickly as possible. In this case, the imposter will not have time to kill everyone, and it will not even be necessary to expel anyone. There are so many people here, it's very good, so we're safe. Will we keep track of which of the players is acting suspiciously? Let's do all the tasks first, then we'll think. Perhaps by this time they will already find an imposter. I would generally watch the cameras. And here is the first corpse. I have absolutely no ideas. I haven't seen anyone. I don't even know where the white man was killed. Let's follow the chat. Maybe someone saw something. Or as usual, the players will kick everyone out. The main thing is that we are not the first to fly overboard. Pink is already being accused. Will we believe him? Yes, we will. He's very suspicious. Of course we will expel Pink. I didn't like him from the very beginning. He was so weird the whole game. Yes, I totally agree with you. Let's throw him off the ship. Wait! We don't have any adequate reason for this. I didn't see him acting suspiciously. We didn't even find out where he was killed. Someone just accused him first, and that's it. It's not reasonable. Already someone about self-report. What do you think about this? I don't care. Kick someone out. Why do we have to kick someone out forever? The more people on board, the more chances to win. There is only one imposter. Have you never played Among Us? Here are the rules of the game. You have to constantly expel someone. Otherwise, someone will say that you are an imposter, and they will expel you. Well, you see, he's not an imposter. There was no reason for this. And where are such rules written at all? You can skip the vote. It's better not to get smart and silently complete tasks. If the majority thinks so, then it's true. But this is stupid. No, not stupid. It's better to complete tasks and navigation faster. Do you think Gray poses a threat to us? It's not the first time I've seen him. He's kind of suspicious. I would be afraid to trust him. I think so too. But as you can see, he didn't kill me. So everything is fine. I think everything is fine with him and we can establish contact. At least, if they want to kick me out, he will intercede. I wouldn't trust anyone at all. Such players can still substitute. They will say that you were chasing them, even though you were just running and doing tasks. By the way, when we first started playing Among Us, we had a funny story. Do you remember how Pagatha forgot that she was a traitor and raised the alarm on herself? Oh yes. It was a funny moment. I thought I saw myself, and in a panic, I pressed the alarm button. Everyone was in shock. And I had a case when I thought I would complete a task, but it turned out that I was trying to remove a corpse. Everyone started pointing at me, and I was absolutely innocent. And I had an epic chase through the corridors. I suspected that someone was following me, but it turned out that it was only Agatha who was trying to catch up with me to clarify her suspicions. And it was so funny! I couldn't believe I was chasing innocent crew members all the time. Well, I had a moment when we all forgot that we were playing Among Us and started discussing which of us is the real traitor in real life. It was a real mind twist. Yes, exactly! For a moment they forgot themselves in reality. Among Us creates such an atmosphere that it is sometimes difficult to separate the game from reality. I wonder who else has funny stories from our adventures in space? Do you remember how one of us accidentally threw himself into space while trying to complete a task? It was something! Oh yes! Such moments make Among Us unpredictable and fun. I hope we will have many more such stories in the future. Do you remember that time when we were all sure that Jax was a traitor, but he was found dead, and no one could figure out who the traitor really was? Yes, it was a real trick of fate. I set myself up because everyone voted for me, and I was already dead. When they solved the mystery, everyone just burst out laughing. And I had a story about how I tried to explain that my actions were not treacherous, but just awkward. But it seems that my arguments were inconclusive, and I was banished into space. I remember the moment when I got into the ventilation trying to escape from all suspicion. But it seems my tail was sticking out, and they immediately figured me out. I wonder who has what strategies in the game. I always try to keep a low profile and blame those who are too active. 
And I, on the contrary, try to be visible and help others to create an alibi. But often, this leads to the fact that I am the first to be thrown out. I have tactics in discussions. I try to listen carefully and notice suspicious moments. Sometimes it works. And how do you feel about fake tasks? Sometimes they help disguise their treacherous intentions. Well, they can work if done skillfully, but they should also not be abused, otherwise they will arouse suspicion. Oh no, another dead man. I wonder who will be kicked out this time. I think it's time to kick Pink out. I don't think he was voted for just like that last time. Yes, it's time to kick the idiot out. He constantly writes about self-report. Let him tell about it in space. I'm already waiting for him to fly away from us. Don't worry, he has a couple of seconds left to live. We will not give him food with us, let him starve. Yes, Victory, great match. Let's move to the new one. Well, friends, now it's my turn to play. We were unlucky again because we don't play for the imposter. It's okay. I'll still play without the video, and I'll definitely get it. Do you remember how I once accidentally called an emergency meeting and said, I'm sure the killer is red, and we were all red? Yes. It was a wonderful moment. Everyone began to suspect each other, and no one noticed how the traitor in the green hat actually killed. And I had an idea to organize a competition for quick completion of tasks. That's how they called it, a fast flash mob in space. Can you guess who was a traitor and sabotaged our fun? And in one of the rounds, I decided to play the role of a detective and played a long monologue about how I would solve all the crimes. But I was thrown out first. By the way, when we had seven people in the game, I suggested holding a space conference and nominating candidates for the position of space president. The election results were predictable. The candidate in the red hat won. I will not forget how we decided to play a space dance battle in one of the rounds. While we were trying to move synchronously in zero gravity, the traitor managed to do his job. By the way, have you ever tried to play with additional rules? For example, make space jokes mandatory for accusations? Yeah, that sounds fun. Comrades, I accuse you of maliciously sabotaging and not just flying around like a clown astronaut. Or introduce a rule that a traitor must say a cryptic phrase before striking. For example, this is for science, before you cut off the light. It would be possible to organize a space carnival, where each player is obliged to sing his accusations in a musical. I can imagine what it would look like. Well, guys, let's seriously discuss tactics among us. What strategies do you prefer? I always try to maintain team spirit. If I am not a traitor, then I help to complete tasks. And if I am a traitor, then I try to find allies. I prefer to take central positions and closely monitor the actions of others. Sometimes it helps to identify suspicious behavior. I am for active discussions. The more information, the easier it is to unravel who the traitor is. And of course, I try to be attentive to details. I wonder how anyone reacts to crisis situations. For example, when the alarm button is pressed and we have no clear suspects. I prefer to stay calm and analyze the situation. Sometimes in the chaos, you can notice the key points. I don't lose my head either. I'm trying to draw attention to those who are too actively trying to confuse others. In such situations, I try to focus on specific people and ask them questions. Sometimes the truth pops up in the answers. And how do you feel about fake tasks? They can be a great way to disguise your actions. I use them moderately. If it becomes too noticeable that I am just wandering and not doing the task, then this raises suspicions. I'm also for moderate use. Fake tasks can be useful, but if you run all the time, it will only make you suspicious. Sometimes it's better to hide in a crowd. If everyone is busy with their own affairs, there is less chance that someone will notice your machinations. And if you are a traitor, how do you try to divert suspicion from yourself? I usually try to whitewash myself by helping others. Sometimes I even overplay my role to seem honest. I prefer to throw suspicion on others. For example, I put forward theories that one of the other crew members is a traitor. I prefer to avoid overly aggressive actions. It is important to act in such a way as to arouse trust, not suspicion. Hey guys, yesterday I saw Kane trying to complete a task, but for some reason I started turning the handle of the coffee maker. Did you happen to think that this coffee maker was part of the crew? Yeah, and I also saw you standing at the vent and it seemed like you were being pulled inside. A new tactic to get away from suspicion? Do you remember how Pagatha tried to hold a space dance battle? Probably she thought that this way she could distract traitors by dancing. And I see how you all confuse the rooms. Like, for example, Pomni, who always goes to the armory when he should have gone to the hospital. Well, the armory also has its own tasks. All these guns and missiles are here for a reason. Has anyone seen Jax on the cameras? He was dancing there to CCTV as if on holiday. Hey, I was just trying to cheer you up and you catch me on the cameras right away. And also, why does Jax always go to the shower first? Maybe he's trying to wash away his suspicions. 
Come on, I'm just trying to maintain space hygiene in the crew. Hey guys, how do you win among us if you're Jax? Maybe try to spam everyone with your admiration for cosmic landscapes? Don't be ridiculous, Pomni. You would know how important it is to appreciate the beauty of the cosmos. This is just art. Okay, stop it, kids. It is better to carefully monitor the cameras so as not to miss the imposter. And here's another corpse! What are we going to do? There are as many as two corpses. I suggest we take a chance. Earlier in the chat, they wrote that the green imposter. But there are two greens here. I play for the dark green, and there is also a light green. I suggest that I should lie that I saw him kill on the cameras. Yes, well done. It's better to let him be thrown out first, but there is a big chance that he is an imposter. Let's hope that's the case. Oh no! Yellow is trying to slander us. I hope the other players won't believe him. Great! Jax, you came up with a great idea with cameras. The main thing is that we are lucky. Yes, 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 it was a stroke of genius. Who is the best in Among Ace now? Of course I am. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And write in the comments if you want the next series in Among Ace. Thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone, and bye.